Today we are doing a review of the new Italian Tier 5 Premium Cruiser, the Emmanuel Filiberto Duca de Aosta, <laughs> which is its full name, or or Duke of Aosta Emmanuel Filiberto. Um, okay, so this ship is a real ship. Yay! It is the same. It's a subclass of the uh, Abruzzi class, the Condo Tieri class cruiser. 186, uh, 87 meters long. Um, it served in World War II, obviously. Um, made some actions against the British. <clears throat> and when it was in Allied service, uh, obviously with the Italian resistance, uh, the... Um, it uh, served in convoy escort to protect shipping lanes um, during the war. Post-war, um, it was given to the Soviet Union, and it was renamed Stalingrad and served there until 1959. So, let's go into battle here. I used the Inigo Campioni build on both Abruzzi and Duca d'Aosta because these two ships are very similar. As I said, they're the same, nearly the same ship, uh, except Daos does it tier five, which I feel like it really does help it some. The guns are weak, right? Uh, same with the Brutzi. Uh, the AP is pretty ineffective. The HE is pretty ineffective. Uh, very ineffective. Um, but the, the torpedoes is what it does have going for it. So I try to play this as what the Italians would term an exploratory uh, cruiser, which is like a scout cruiser. Um, <clears throat> hopefully we do get a real one in the game called the Leon um, one day, but uh, yeah, so my mission in the Austa or Abruzzi is to scout. I'm a scout master. And I'm, I'm going to be play like a large destroyer. I'm just going to scout, keep everybody spotted, while I while trying myself to remain undetected and fling torpedoes everywhere at the enemy. <clears throat> now that's basically what I'm going to do. I do have the will rebuild for this thing because uh, this thing needs as many uh, of the nine lives that a cat has to offer. <laughs> I have Oberon with me, of course, the legendary Blitz player. Come on. <laughs> She's a legendary player <laughs> because she uh, plays World of Warships Legends. <laughs> Everybody who plays World of Warships Legends is a legend. California. So yeah, it's it's really important to remember that with this ship or with the Brutzi that it's you don't just because you see a ship doesn't mean you want to shoot at. You really do want to play this as a destroyer. Now with my build, I have and I'll show you it after the battle. I have reduced my concealment down to eight point six with this ship. I believe it's eight point three on a Brutzi. Uh, which really does allow you, with obviously 12 kilometer torpedoes, you've got a big range of uh, being unspotted. So you want to hang out here in between your allied fleet and the enemy fleet and fling those torpedoes around and eventually, <clears throat> just like is happening here, eventually a destroyer is going to get a little too close and you're going to be the one to spot them for everybody. Um, and, and be able to kill him. We're not going to be able to kill Fabuki here because we caught him running away. Um, but that gives you an idea. He's had to flee for his life. And now I'm going to pop Sonar. That was useless. Uh, Oberon, watch out. I don't think they're going to hit you, but just because. But yeah, it was useless because it didn't protect my... Uh, division mate back there. Well, maybe it actually did. Did you yeah. have to... You did? Okay, nice. I mean, I slowed down and turned a little bit, but they... I don't think they were really coming for me, but you know. Right. You think they were meant for me? 
You never know. <laughs> yeah, could have been a ghost ship. Okay, now I'm gonna throw up a plane. There they all are. Oh, ships. Oh. Gonna launch torps. That was a mistake. See if I can get out of this. Now, the Alsta does not have good armor, so this. I mean, it's not horrendous. Come on, baby. Like, you can. Like, so we just took a California salvo angled. I think that was a Cali salvo. It might have just been secondary. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> it looked like a full salvo. Felt like secondaries. <clears throat> I'm hoping our torps are going to hit. You're not going to do much damage in this ship if your torps don't hit. <laughs> because <laughs> it has such a low chance to set fire. It's just not It's not going to happen. And the AP isn't even... The AP really isn't that effective even against enemy cruisers. Even when they're broadside. You'll Citadel people, but they'll be tiny hits. Like, it'll take 2,000 damage off of Citadel. It... You're not killing anybody quickly with a ship. <clears throat> Unless it's with these torps. And even then it takes them 10 minutes to get there, so still not happening quickly. Point California. So I'm gonna stay, relatively speaking, where I am because I know I could go over there and try to cause chaos, but I'm kind of the guardian of the fleet. I'm the eyes of the fleet here. And so I've got to protect this guy, this New York over here, from the destroyer that I already know is there. Jaguar. So once once New York can get his butt to the uh, out of here, I can uh Whoa. I no longer have to protect him from the destroyer and I can move. Which is nice, because I don't... Oh, there's Fubuki. Jaguar's right here. I'm going to try to get both of them. Um, these guns, even these guns don't do that well against destroyers. I mean, you're, it's going to take quite a few shots to take them down. It's not like a Devonshire or something. Something bribish. <laughs> So you'll you'll see matches like this where you have a great game, you do everything you're supposed to, and you only do like what I've did is t nine ten thousand damage, uh, and then you'll have matches where you do everything exactly the same and it results in eighty ninety thousand damage. So uh, it, it's it's it, this is a very inconsistent ship when it comes to damage. Now we've got our Italian friend here. And we are going to send Torps for him. <clears throat> Hopefully they don't hit my body. Oh, good. Ha-ha! <laughs> because we don't like him. We're Americans, and, uh... <laughs> you know, I mean, the Roman Empire was cool and all, but... You know. We're all, we're pro-Republic democracy, so... He's got to go. Ah! Uh, wait, wait, wait! The history of the Roman Empire is more interesting. I don't think they were especially nice, especially the emperors and all of them. They did a lot of mean stuff. Great civilization, but kind of barbaric in their own s barbaric in their own civilized way. Ooh! All right, so we're still going strong here. The torp reload is really fast, so that is that is pretty. Sweet. <laughs> oh, hey, look, I found an island. Just what I was <laughs> looking for. Just what I was looking for. I'm not the kind of guy that hides behind island. I'm an island rammer. That's my MO. Who's this? Peter the Great? If you never knew that, Pyotr Veliki is, uh, means Peter the Great in Russian. <laughs> 
torpedo Pyoto. I'm sending him. It's happening, boys. Come on, baby, make it hurt so good. <gasps> Sometimes love don't feel like it should. Yes! Oh, this course is not enough to kill him. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> I'm gonna try to reverse torp him. <laughs> right there. Come on, baby. Right. I'm like trying to reverse so bad. Come on! <laughs> Come on! Let's get those torps going here. This is a really poor strategy. <laughs> Perfect timing. Um, so yeah, the <laughs> the Duke of the Osta, I, I think it's a C ship. It's an average ship. Um, it, it's something you can do well in, but for damage, you're going to do far better in, in, in pretty much any other ship, cruiser. Um, for utility, this is a fantastic ship. I mean, honestly, I, I would highly consider taking this thing out in rank battle. Uh, just because it serves such a good uh, service to the team, um, provides such great utility as a scout um, and uh, a harasser uh, with torpedoes. So um, I give it a C grade. Um, if you like the Brutzi, you'll like this. If you don't like a Brutzi, you will not like this. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, that's all, folks.